Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to talk about all the PvP options for you guys in New World. So a lot of PvPers have been coming across a lot of really just PvE MMOs recently. Not very much hardcore stuff involving ranks, dueling, or really even just, you know, competitive things in general that maybe even give you endgame loot and things of that nature. I want to talk about really where PvP in New World currently stands and what I would like to see really come about in the next 6 to 12 months for PvP in New World. So right now we do have a couple of different options if you're looking to PvP. That can either be dueling, that can be open world PvP, faction PvP, Outpost Rush and New World Sieges and Wars. We're going to talk about all those in a little bit of detail. So to start off, we do have dueling in New World. So one of the main options for PvP in New World is going to be dueling. Dueling is a way for players to PvP one another without any consequences to gear durability and serve as a great way to practice your PvP skills, organize PvP events, or to settle a beef. So duels can be initiated by a player over level 10 regardless of faction or PvP flag status. Duels cannot be initiated in settlements or during war or invasions. Players can initiate duel by hovering over another player's name and clicking invite to duel or chatting slash duel player name. Outside interference does end the duel, so be careful where you're doing these duels. Obviously, you want to do them on a road or you know some area that doesn't have too many mobs that you don't have to deal with. Uh, you can also duel or really solo or as a group. And I think this is one of the main features that I think is amazingly cool is the idea that you can actually duel you know 3v3, 4v4, or 5v5, or even 2v2s just with your guildmates. So you can actually have some practice PvP sessions with some you know different scenarios, maybe even a 3v5 or different, like I said, scenarios scenarios that you want to cover in PvP. I would like to see them add a little bit more options when it comes to dueling. Maybe something like wagering so you can actually put gold on the duel itself. And then if you win, you have something you kind of received as an award or a victory. And then you have something like a loss when you do lose that duel. So it does kind of give you that feel of having something kind of risk versus reward wise in PvP in New World. I also want to talk about open world PvP as well as faction control points. So one thing to note is there is a lot of open world PvP for multiple different reasons. So you do get a 5% boost if you are flagged up in PvP. Uh, I will also say guys that is not a large amount, not at all. And I do wish they would make it at least 10%. However, we don't see that happening. So if you guys want to make sure to find PvP content, another way to do so is faction PvP missions. So one way to put a really a territory into a conflict state is going to be by doing PvP missions. So you're going to see a lot of people doing these PvP missions as a way for XP, as a way for Syndicate tokens or Marauder tokens or Covenant tokens, whatever faction you're a part of. And then it also, like I said, is a great way to take that territory over or at least put it into a conflict state that can then put it into a spot where you can actually activate a war on it. I will say, guys, you know, there's a lot of options to PvP in New World. However, I would still like to see a couple new things, and I will mention those here at the end of the video. But, you know, open world PvP is something that I believe they've gotten very, very good at since the original release of kind of saying this is going to be more of a PvE content type of game. They kind of moved straight away from their PvP side of things, moved into a PvE side of things, and then kind of made both sides happy with a mixture of PvP and PvE. I do think flagging up for PvP has a decent amount of rewards right now. I just think 5-10% to of a boost for XP would be a huge uh, definitely a huge thing, at least for the early game, to uh, really motivate people to take the opportunity and uh, you know activate your PvP flag. I do want to talk about a little bit more on the Outpost Rush side of things. So this is an Outpost Rush instance PvP PvE mode in New World. So when I say PvP and PvE mode, it's actually both of those. So it's a 20 versus 20 player fight to control the mysterious dangerous island. Each team must coordinate and balance their team, defeating enemy players, capturing objectives, gathering resources, and building up their outposts. You must be level 60 in order to participate in Outpost Rush. That's why you didn't see many people actually participating during that closed beta. Not many people were actually level 60 and definitely not, you know, up to 32 players as that is the minimum. I will say, you know, there's a lot of people that love this mode already and I've watched a lot of gameplay myself, haven't had the opportunity myself to play and I cannot wait for the actual release of the game so I can jump on board with Outpost Rush. There are insane drops from Outpost Rush and that's definitely something I love to see coming from PvP. 
you know, you like to see the idea of really having that, uh, you know, good drop opportunity from PvP. And, you know, that's another thing I liked about open world flagging that they added is the idea that, you know, you are able to get some weapon drops when you get a kill in PvP, as well as some great weapon mastery, as well as XP. So, you know, there's doing some things in the right direction for PvPers, and I think that's one thing that a lot of really people can't really argue about, is they are moving in the direction to try to make the community happy when it comes to PvP. Uh, PvE as well as PvP. I also want to talk about one more thing, and that's going to be New World Sieges and Wars. After this, we'll talk about kind of the you know path I would love them to take, as well as I want to ask about your guys' thoughts on some of these things. If you guys want to start thinking, what do you want to see PvP-wise in New World? Uh, but you know, before we get into that, I do want to talk about New World Sieges, 50v50 wars that do determine really a defense on a territory if you keep the territory or an attack on a territory whether you take that territory over. There's a lot of benefits that come with owning a territory in New World. We talked about how much you can actually make owning a settlement in New World, so if you guys wanna click that video, definitely take a look. Like I said, I just did a recent video on that. It's an insane amount of gold that you can actually take with a territory and i want to take a look into a couple more options you know right now we are seeing a lot of problems with 50 v 50 wars the current meta is very bland it's you know sword and shield maybe a life staff and you just sit inside of the hill as 50 people you literally cannot die at the moment with sword and shield life staff sitting there as 50 strong continuing to heal each other shield and uh, take one point at a time on offense um, it just seems very, very broken right now, and uh, like I said, that's certainly a problem as PvP War should be a lot more than just one consistent build, and I'm sure that'll you know change over time as people start to realize there's probably some different builds that can make things uh, get kind of changed up. But as of now, War is in a bad state because of the glitching, the you know bugs, the just lag altogether, and I do think they'll obviously fix that over time and i think that's one of the major things they're working on during this uh you know delayed new world release we do have a couple more things to talk about and that is related to my personal opinion so we have a couple different options in my eyes that we could see more pvp content and i think they will take something very close to this in consideration they've talked about stuff very close to this before and said that they were looking into it so we have thoughts on arena so i have seen this quite a bit from a lot of people, arenas being 1v1, 2v2, 5v5 oriented for that PvP small scale because we haven't seen anything relating to PvP small scale besides maybe flagging up and hoping to find just one person instead of a mob of five that are trying to kill you. Uh, you know, it's just one thing, like I said, to see small scale PvP in this game would be huge. And I think it's a huge opportunity that they're missing out on currently because there is no really a uh, spot for that right now. Like I said, 20 v uh, 20 outpost rush, as well as 50 v 50 war. Where's the 5v5? Where's that 2v2, 3v3, 1v1, whatever else? It's not there right now. And I think they will add that in the future with either arenas and ranked kind of a ranked playlist, ranked uh, leaderboard, I should say, not really a playlist, but a ranked leaderboard possibly coming with arenas where you have that opportunity. Uh, you kind of just search for a game, search for a match, and you're able to fight other people in a tournament. I do think that's a possibility. What I would also like to see, maybe even better than that, is Hellgate. So if you guys have ever seen Albion Online's Hellgates, it's a great idea and it's a great opportunity for Eternum. Uh, you know, you can have these, really these mobs that spawn in each really each uh, zone. And I think if you kill this mob, you, they actually drop a portal. You actually take that portal. Obviously, it doesn't have to be this exact similar to Albion Online, but just an idea here. You take that portal. It brings you to this realm. This realm is where there's PvE mobs, a couple little mini bosses, and you can do that for a little bit while you wait for the enemy to show up on your screen. Obviously, after a while, there will be somebody else. Obviously, this could be in Windsward. This could be in um, Restless Shore. It could be wherever. They kill the mob. They do the same thing on the other side of the world. You guys meet in the same dungeon. Obviously, both flagged up at this point in time automatically when you jump in maybe even full loot pvp depending on what they want to do there but realistically a spot for you guys to actually do some pve together as well as then pvping at the end for the chest in the middle of the map and i think that's one thing um, that just would be a huge opportunity for new world to take advantage of they love the idea of bringing pve and pvp kind of together but not needed and necessary and i think this is definitely an opportunity we also talked about albion online having the black zone so black zones are also an opportunity you know we've talked about the idea of having those white zones up top being all pvp so as soon as you walk in 
you're instantly flagged for PvP. I think that's still a decent idea, uh, but I don't think you know with those current zones they're going to do it, and that's perfectly fine. I think they could come up with maybe a different zones that have you know special gathering spots or you know special gathering resources, maybe some cool bosses that have some sweet loot or drops. Um, definitely an opportunity there. You know, like I said, kind of like black zones in Albion Online, but if you haven't played Albion Online, kind of like runes, old school RuneScape, that is, uh, with the wilderness, you know, just having those cool mobs out there, uh, cool bosses and gathering, um, that really brings people out there because there's reasons to go out there, not just to PvP. It's going to be because you want to actually go out there. You want that risk versus reward. You know, I know a lot of gatherers actually wanting PvP. Um, it's kind of interesting, you know, they want to go out there and have that risk when they're gathering. They want to be able to get, uh, you know, out of a chase. They want that, uh, you know, value, value kind of built into the asset that, uh, that gathering, or I guess that really that resource that they're gathering because really the rarity, because of how hard it is to get and get out of there with, um, so it's just one thing I, I thought myself would be pretty cool. I just want to hear your guys' thoughts as well. So like I said, maybe zones that are only PVP, and then maybe as well uh, arenas that are ranked, or maybe Hellgates as well, that uh, just are a fun way to casually play some PVP as well as PVE. Just my thoughts on small-scale PVP, because I don't think there's much of it right now. I just wanted to hear your guys' thoughts as well. Um, you know, you don't have to love my thoughts. You don't have to hate them. Just let me know in the comment section down below what you guys are thinking are great options for PVP. If you like any of my ideas, or if you hate them, that's perfectly fine. Just let me know what you guys are thinking for PVP to continually get better and better in this game, because I love this game so much and i think you know there's so much potential behind this game but uh you know when pvp comes to play right now it's falling short in that pvp small scale section in my opinion so thank you guys again for tuning in make sure to quickly like the video subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on